Hello everyone, we have a thousand packs of Fusion Strike. I know we're a little bit late on this because we've been doing a bunch of breaks. Well, this isn't a thousand packs, it's just the first seven boxes. But we're doing a lot of breaks, and by the way, we still have a ton of these to give away. Sealed Celebration Ultra Premium Collection boxes. Sealed for free! Remember, all you gotta do is just head on over to our Twitch stream link down below and come join us while we do a bunch of breaks. I think we've opened like 8,000 packs so far. And every day we're giving away a sealed ultra premium collection box until they're gone. So get get in here. And also, since we have opened a bunch so far, it is eight hits about average per box. But there's a lot of variants. We've seen some 12 hit boxes, a couple five hit boxes, well, a bunch of five hit boxes. Oh uh, yeah, just junk. Yeah, hits are all over the place. And the codes, by the way, are now black code, white code. White code means junk. Black code means hollow or better, and we have two boom booms, and that's that's it. That's good, good start. But hi Don't everybody. Great. I know this is coming out late. I'm sorry. We sold some breaks. We're doing some breaks, and also we're getting ready to move because well, we're moving. Yay! Yay! Not to Vegas though. That Aww. makes me sad. But, yeah. Hey, already got an altar. Oh my God. We've uh, all tarts, man. We've had some crazy, crazy stuff. Three per box has happened multiple times. And then I've had a couple where back-to-back -back packs. One pack had an alt art. Next pack, alt art. It's, it's weird. There's so much, like, variance, I guess you should say, going on. Yeah. So much randomness in Whoa. this set. It's, it's crazy. I might also do the... I don't know how I'm going to do the financial wrap-up of this. I kind of want to do it where it's just based on what you're looking for, like the good cards. Because, you know, people don't really care about the bulk cards. But I don't know. Right. I, I, You know what? I have no idea. Should I even do a financial wrap-up? I could just show everything and be like, this is what we got. Yeah, just see how the box, the ratio is, honestly. I, I don't think many people are watch these videos just to be like, ooh, maybe if I buy 28 boxes. I think it's more about them listening to you ramble no i don't want to ramble don't make me do stuff coffee hasn't kicked in yet you you got this you're doing great honey. <sighs> i'm almost a half a box in look at me go it is I weird just being able to crack packs and go right because we've been having to stop go stop go so much yep yeah anyways i'm i don't know i've been talking all week basically out of things to talk about i'm so sorry Stop that's that's what James was saying. He was like, I kind of ran out of things to talk about, so I need a day off. That's why I literally just ask people. I'm like, give me a topic. Let's go. What do you want to talk about? And usually it ends up being stocks, which I am completely okay with it. Buy more Apple. Not, not financial advice. <sighs> Anyways, yeah. I don't know. Okay. I We're just packing everything, sorting through everything. It's not just yeeting it all in boxes. It's actually like going through it. Do we need this? Do we not need this? Blah, blah, blah. Get our lives in order because <laughs> it's, uh, it's been a while since our lives have been in order. Yeah. So We're it's trying like, not to be so much dumpster fiery. It's fun, but stressful at the same time. I don't know, but that means nothing's really going on. I mean, they're actively trying to kill Overwatch. Thanks, Blizzard, ever since Jeff Kaplan left. Because Overwatch 2 is basically all focused on competitive play, and I hate competitive Overwatch. I'd rather play Counter-Strike or Call of Duty or something. Yeah. And I don't I don't know. Total Mayhem is gone for like a week. Oh, Arcage, by the way. Babe, I didn't tell you about this. Oh. So Arcage is being, I don't know, a, yet another publisher is taking over Arcage. Oh, gosh. Uh, so it's going to be something like, in a few days, you're going to be able to transfer your account over to the new whatever. And then on December 1st, they're shutting Arcage down on the current servers. So once you transfer your account, anything you do then on current servers isn't saved. Okay, cool. Great. Grand. Whatever. But they're doing yet again where everybody is losing all of their houses and they're doing a land rush again. Oh, gosh. But with people who are already established. So it's like, it's going to be nothing but mansions placed everywhere. I don't know. It kind of makes me want to log into the game and be like, do we have enough to buy a mansion? Because if so, let's try and play. I don't know. But they're just going to milk the game again. we had a mansion. No, no. Well, we did the fresh start server. Oh, man. God, I have no idea. Regardless, we need to look at that. Try to log in and just... I think you have to move stuff over or it gets deleted. 
Yeah. I'm pretty. I don't know. I'm like whatever. We the might as well. Of work that we've put into those. I know. We might as well just log into all of our crap, and just move it over anyway. You know what I mean? Just in the off chance that the new publisher isn't absolutely terrible like every other publisher, you know? I have a feeling it's going to be terrible just like the other ones. They're going to milk it for all it's worth. Yeah, that's kind of yeah. what they do. But in the off chance that they don't and they actually let the game be a good game. But then again, the only way I think I'd play Arc... Oh, there we go. Nice. There we go. Good. I think the only way I'd play Arc Age again is if they went back to Arc Age 1.0. Yeah, I don't... Whatever. Well, when they put in that new, like... I don't know what it's called. The new trade system Ooh. sucks. That's nice. Well, not even the trade system. What is the... um That new, like, world that they did. You oh, never I'd, played it. I didn't play it. I started and... Oh, forget that place. Arcade is fun, but... It's the best MMO I've ever played. However, it's also been ran by the worst companies ever. It's one of those games where they're like, all right, dude, we're going to embrace pay to win. And that's one thing, but man, they just they milk it for everything they can. They don't really update it that, for anything good. They are just they just let it die so they can just get their money. Because, I mean, there's whales in the game, obviously. So they get their millions, they let it die, then they're like, we're going to do a new fresh start server. Yeah, how many fresh starts do you need? Like, yeah, every six months, they're basically like, new fresh start, because then people spend a crap ton of money again. That's all it is. It's just milking people for money. Nice. But the you game is so money. good. So good. Original game was, oh, my God, amazing. Yeah. Oh. Oh, anyway. Uh, that new place that they had was, like, going into the mall. Ah, nice. Yeah. That's, uh... I didn't like that. Yeah, they... They used to have, like, cool ways. I don't like the new armor, the way they did it, where you got to go grind, like, the 10,000 mobs for a random drop, but it's a random, like, whatever, and then yeah. it ends up being crap, and then you have to try to upgrade it, and it's all random, and then it breaks on you, and it's like, all you do is you spend 12 hours a day just getting... Well, it's daily age. Yeah, I know. I know. When they add it, yeah, when dailies come into it, it's... Every time you log in, it's like... In World of Warcraft, you know how you have to do dailies? Well, you feel obligated to... In Arc Age, you literally must do them. Yeah, you, you want to get anywhere. to do them. And most of them are raid dailies, where you have to have a group of, like, 99 other people. <laughs> Basic. It's so stupid. Yep. Back then, man, the original one... I'm just an old man yelling at a cloud, but... I would just get on a ship, and I would sail all the way out to a Frida Child, and I would trade the stuff and gank some people along the way and make some... Uh, that's the only way you can make the... Um, oh, my God. What are they? The, the Guild of Stars. Because yeah. that's where Guild of Stars came from back then, was when you did cargo trade, you only got gold if it was uh, on the same continent. you get, like, one Guild of Star for taking it to the enemy faction, but you'd get three Guild of Star if you took it all the way up to Friedrich. And that was the only way. There was no dailies. There was no other way to get Guild of Stars. So if you wanted to buy a house, if you wanted to do anything, you had to do that. It was, it was great. Oh, my God. The game... Oh. Whatever. Anyway. It was good. Moral of the story, we should probably move our stuff over in the off chance it doesn't suck, even though I know it's going to suck. Yeah. Just so that way we have it. Because, yeah, the last server I was on, I busted my butt doing stuff. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, it was fun. I don't know. It's one of those games that it's fun for a few days. The farming, and it's amazing. But it's like, what am I going to farm and use all my land for if there's literally nothing else, nothing to buy? Because el everything comes from doing dailies. Right. You know, it's like, what's the point of having gold and farming and yada, 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 when you can't buy anything with it? Yep. I don't stupid. know. It is stupid. I'm getting all heated over here over there. <laughs> Calm down, baby. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. Anyway. Yeah, we'll check it out after this. Jeez. We're probably going to... Oh, we're not going to chop this... Yeah, we're going to chop this video up probably into four parts. We're going to open like seven boxes. Um, and then we're going to go have a coffee and smoke some celery, pretend we're cool. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> then we'll come back and record another one and do the same thing and repeat. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> yep.
I love smoked celery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. I feel like we are demolished. Pork is delicious as well. We've only been recording for ten minutes, and we've. Uh, I feel like we're demolishing this. Look at us go. Yeah. Look at us go. We gotta go faster. No one actually cares about the actual opening. If you look at our metrics, they they click the video and skip right to the end. Ooh. Oh, nice. Look at me go. I, the next thousand pack video should be like a 20 second video of this is what we opened. And that's yes. it. Yes. It's kind of like the, uh, what's the reporter, the dude from Family Guy, Ollie. They cut to him and he just yells something real quick. Yeah. They're like, what's the weather, Ollie? It's raining. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be beautiful. I wonder how many people would be upset though. Uh, all. Probably all Probably. of them. Probably. They, people really like hearing you ramble. I know you don't like rambling sometimes. I love I love like ranting. Ranting is what I love to do because well apparently I am a very nihilistic person. Not nihilistic. I am just You're very passionate. I was that hopeful kid and then I realized, oh yeah, the world is it is so messed up and oh my god, yeah, nothing's ever gonna get better. I actually it does get better, but you know what I mean. It's it's yeah. Ah! We wow. take giant leaps forward, and then we spend the next 20 years walking backwards. And then yeah. another leap forward, and then 20 years walking backwards. That's what it is. It's not like a two-step forward, one-step back sort of thing. You're a ninja. I don't, I, psh, IDK. Yeah, remind... Oh, my God. Do we even remember how to log into ArcAge? Because I know we have, like, 75 accounts. Um, we were yeah. those nerds that had multiple accounts we paid for just so we could have multiple houses. Yeah. I only care about the main account. So that should be under my main email, I'd imagine. Um, I honestly don't know. I, don't I know. have no clue. It's been that long. I know. I can't remember. I don't even think I have the launcher installed in this computer. Oh, my God. Ah, whatever. We'll check it out. Anyway, I thought there was like one person out there was like, yeah, Archage. I know who that is. Yeah. Seriously, it was the best, best MMO I've ever played. And yeah, I've that played was, so many of them. That was my number one. And then I've got... Uh, wow, as number two. It beats out <sighs> Ultima Online. I hate to say that. Well, not Ultima Online pre-2003, because I'm not that, I'm that old. I guess I am that old. Vanilla World of Warcraft was also up there. Oh, my God. When WoW Classic came back out. Oh, God, that was so good. Then they're like, Burning Crusade's coming out. Like, nope, oh, I'm done. <laughs> That's <laughs> in the Tom Chilton years, and Tom Chilton is probably the person I hate the most in gaming-related. I hate you, Tom Chilton. I hate you. You destroyed Ultima Online and you destroyed World of Warcraft all the way back in the Burning Crusade. Yeah. I've ranted about that a couple times anyway, so I don't need to Just do that again. Just a couple? Many times, actually. <laughs> okay, for those of you who don't know, and the one person out there that cares, he worked on Ultima Online, which is a sandbox game. A sandbox game is do anything you want. There's no end game. There's, not, there's no quests. There's no levels. Go do anything you want. And in Ultima, it's a game that there was thousands upon thousands of things that you could do every day. It, you could play it like a normal MMO. You could be a real estate agent, a rares dealer. You could plant stuff. You could be a farmer, a blacksmith, a, a fletcher. I mean, just everything you could do. You could just hunt houses that are collapsing. Like, be a literal pirate. A, I like logging. You could, you could be a logger. You could... Oh, my God. There's just so much stuff you could do. Anyway. Gathering. Um, so, grabbing. it was a sandbox game. And Tom Chilton saw that World of Warcraft was going to come out. And he's like, we need to compete. So he added, like, item levels and item stats. There was no item stats. There was, like, the best you could get a sword would go from, like, plus one damage up to plus seven damage. And that was it. Everything else, a piece of armor was a piece of armor. There was no plus strength, no dex, nothing on it. And he completely changed it where it's a system that just... He tried to make it Diablo-esque and kind of put the game on rails. And you can't put a sandbox game on rails. So that kind of destroyed it. And when everyone started leaving Ultima Online because the game completely dramatically changed and no, no one liked it, he quit. He quit making Ultima. Or quit. He left Ultima. And where did he go? He got a job with Blizzard. And he became the lead developer on Burning Crusade. So he is the reason that, like, when you would step through the dark portal, your, like, Naxxramas gear would be replaced instantly with the green, and power creep went crazy. So he worked on the items of Burning Crusade, and that's why now 
you know, well, not now, but that's why, you know, it got to the point where people would have millions of health, literally, a couple expansions ago, and they had to do the level squish and all of that. They're still trying to fix his power ramp that he did. Wow. Because every expansion, you know, and every every time you release a piece of gear, it's got to become stronger, right? Yep. Every update. So he, like, tenfolded it between vanilla and uh, the next expansion, Burning Crusade, that they had to keep on that current trajectory all the way up until today. They've tried to rein it in a little bit. So it's like the effects that he did like 15 years ago, they're still attempting to oh, correct. Grace. It's like... Wow. So basically, that's why I hate him. He destroyed Ultima Online, which was like the best game ever, and then he went in there and messed up World of Warcraft so bad they're still having problems trying to fix it. Like, wow, wow, that's great. Great, Tom Chilton. I hate you. Wow, oh, that pack slightly bent. Whoops. I hope one day that, like, you know, somebody somewhere is like, hey, Tom, you know this dude hates you? <laughs> <laughs> There's this Pokemon guy that just rants about you all the time. Did I take more packs than you? I probably. I don't probably know. I'll help. Not. Anyways, that's the rant again about, about that absolute moron, Tom Chill. I hope you stub your toe every day. <laughs> every day. Don't mess with the man's games, okay? The same toe. Yeah, no healing. No chance for healing. When you wake up in the morning, stub it. When you go to bed, stub it again. Sweet <laughs> dreams, <goodness>. Tom. <laughs> yeah, Tom. <sighs> Don't mess with my husband's games. You know, if I traveled, that's something where I would go to, like, uh, a gaming convention. I think he's still part of WoW somewhere. I don't know. And that, like, I would wait in line for four hours to ask a question. You know, they they kind of vet the questions a lot of time. They're like, "What kind of what question are you gonna ask?" And I I just lie about what it's gonna. I just be like, "Hey, yo, Tom, you suck." All right, bye. <laughs> and I just get back on a plane and come home. I would just I'd do it. You would. I would. Maybe I should send him a Christmas card this year. Be like, hey, Tom. Hey, Tom, you suck. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. <sighs> anyway. Oh, you know how you can hire people to do, like, video intros for you? Yeah. Um, you can even have, like, famous people do it for a couple hundred bucks because a lot of them are washed up people. Let's do one more box. And uh, I should pay them to randomly do videos. They're like, hey, Tom, you suck. And then I'll keep tweeting it at Tom Chilton. <laughs> He's not that popular. Event like, you know what I mean? He's not famous. So he'll have to eventually see that. That'll be priceless. He's <laughs> be like, why is Mark Summers from Double Dare telling me I suck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. I want to do that so bad. <laughs> so bad. Lindsay Lohan, she's like broke. Too. Oh, there we go. I'm sure it only costs like 20 bucks for Lindsay to do that. Yeah. <laughs> like, why are all these celebrities telling me I suck? <laughs> Lindsay broke. <laughs> she... Yeah, I mean, her net worth is still greater than, like, all of ours, don't get me wrong. But it's nowhere near as where you think it would be right. for being as, like, famous as she was. I think she has, like, a six hundred or $800,000 net worth, which is, that's impressive, but not for being how nice. famous she is and or was. And she definitely... The drugs. She, she yoloed don't millions do, of dollars. Don't do drugs, kids. I mean, all, almost all of us, though, are richer than, uh, what, Wesley Snipes? I mean, he had to go to prison for, like, tax evasion or tax fraud. And then, uh, oh my God, what is his name? Uh, the dude who wants to steal the Declaration of Independence. Uh, I don't know. The dude with, oh my God, the no, not the bees. Um, wow, why am I mind blanking on his name? Ah, right, anyways, him. <laughs> what is his name? I don't know. Oh my God, he's every single person knows who I'm talking about. He's even the main guy of Gone in sixty seconds. Oh. How do I not? He was in The Rock. He was in like so many movies. Good and bad. The one that has the thing for the Shelby Cobra. Yeah, but how do I not know his name? Oh, yeah. What is his name? <laughs> Everybody's going to be like, uh, duh, it's this. Oh, my God. I can't think. It's well, not Sean Connery. Oh, my God. No, it's not Sean Connery. It was, he played opposite to Sean Connery. Oh my God! Oh, anyway, whatever him. Uh, he he's has played in Face Off too. Yes, he's played in I a know, lot of I stuff. Can't think of his name. So many things he was in. 
Oh my gosh, look it up. It's driving me crazy. I will. Anyway, um, <laughs> we'll, t we'll do another box. I'll look it up. Anyways, he has a problem buying homes, apparently. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, and so many of his homes had to go into foreclosure because <laughs> he couldn't afford them anymore. Oh, wow. I mean, he's probably a lot richer than all of us, but still, he, uh, he liked to squander a lot of his... That's why a lot of the movies he was in were absolutely atrocious and terrible. He needed money badly. So he's like, I will destroy my career to the best of my ability to, to try to pay my property tax. All these good cards. I want to remember his name. Yeah, I, why can't we think of his name? I don't know. Oh my god, I don't know. I'm on it. Hold on. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I'm like, why can't we think Nicholas of Cage. Yes. It's Nicholas Cage. You can even look it up and no. you're like, wait. I'm like, wait, it's Nicholas Cage. That's what it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if we open one more box after this, then we only have to open six each video. Mm. Or each segment, I guess I'll say. Segment. Yeah, we're segment we're so lazy. <laughs> Absolutely. We're just you know what you get though coming here. Dumpster fire. Oh yeah, show that. The that dumpster little dumpster fire, fire there. Ah, uh, Lexi made this for. How cool is this? That oh, is our that. mascot. Oh, you. <laughs> oh wait, I'm sorry. My my hidden secret dark Gyarados. They live in there. Look at how cool this is. Yeah. And then, oh my god. Oh my god, that's amazing. The official mascot. Yeah. Ah, oh, Tom Chilton. Seriously. You suck. Yeah. You <laughs> <laughs> I just tweet at him every day. You suck. <laughs> I'm like what? Well, okay. So there's a guy, Eric, the internet comment etiquette. Mm -hmm. Dude's absolutely hilarious. He tweets like the most messed up things to people. But he, uh, uh, Ted Cruz, Ted Cruz. He tweets to Ted Cruz like every video multiple times. And he actually tweets it too. And it's like some pretty messed up stuff. Eventually, he's gonna, Cruz is going to see that and be like, what in the absolute... But he's not, like, blocked oh, or anything. But. Do you remember when it was, like, years, the same person kept coming Ooh. back and hating on us? But oh, they my came God. to everything. Yeah, there was, <laughs> like... finally seen it. I randomly checked the uh, comments held for review on YouTube, <laughs> and there was someone just going off about me, and it was funny. And then I decided to search their name because it'll show every comment that anyone's ever made. And it went back several years. years. This dude was trash talking me. And like, it's it's just littered across most of our videos for like the last four years. It's just this dude just trashing me. And it is hilarious. Of course, I didn't ban him. I just keep an eye out for him not to nominate. Yeah, because we want to remember who it is. Yeah, I haven't remember. spotted him in the wild, though. But, like, his comment. And he, like, comments on old videos. It's, it's so crazy. Hilarious. I'm like, that is dedication, and I respect that. <laughs> like, I respect it. So, yeah, I can't remember his name. Otherwise, I need to start off a video just, you know, being like, hey, so-and-so. You know, return the favor a bit. So after five years, finally give him the credit that he t the credit that is due. <laughs> yeah, uh, that would be great. I can't remember some of the ins the insults are like off the wall too, and they're yeah. like they're pretty vicious. I don't know why I just fumbled that pack. I'm surprised a lot of them got through YouTube's like filter. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, that's Ooh. dedicated. Oh, that's two of them so far. Two. Dude, yeah, we're doing. I'm sorry, I don't make you know big like. Ah, we listen, did it. listen. I'm we're both completely dead inside. That's yeah. why we don't get excited over Pokemon hits. We just look at that. I pulled. That's just an energy, everybody. No need to get excited out of this. Sick. Yeah, you get a uh, whoo out of me. That's about it. Yeah, we we try, but it's it's very hard when you just you know dead inside. Yeah. Yeah, just shriveled to the core. My medicine isn't kicking in yet. I'm 65 and salty. I will yell at you to get off my lawn. True. Do oh, remember I that one kid that you yelled at and they started crying and running for their mom? That poor two-year-old. I will yell at anybody to get close to my yawn. It's like... Poor two-year-old. When people stop like at our fence to like say hi to our dogs, I'm like, that's awesome. I respect you because you like dogs. But if someone ever stops like anywhere near my house and just kind of looks and the dogs are not around, I'm like, what are you doing? I'm literally just like, what are you doing? What do you want? 
Get out of here. I am that old person. <laughs> Do you remember when that one kid's ball came rolling in the yard and you <laughs> ran for it? And that kid walked away with his head down like, oh. Like, that's my ball. My ball. <laughs> and that kid was so upset. And he's like, I'm just joking. Here's your ball. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That was hilarious. I he like... straight up ran after that ball. <laughs> yeah, why not? It's on my property. Legal now. It's mine. <laughs> I will return it. Depending. Great. Depends how old they are. <laughs> <sighs> oh, anyways, it's t time for our break because we are <laughs> we're hard workers, everybody. Yeah. Hard workers. <laughs> okay, we're back. We're still dead inside. Let's go. I need. Oh uh, yeah, you. Ugh. I'm just gonna. You know what? I'm just gonna open all of these. Why not? Yeah. That's the entertainment everyone's paying for. Yeah, sit here and open boxes. Mm hmm. Not even the packs. I don't even know where to put these because I don't pre plan anything I do. I know. <laughs> Forgot to look up the arc age thing before I left. Or before I left, before I came. Whatever. All right, opening packs. That seemed like it got stuck somewhere yeah, and like, then hit. <laughs> that was loud. <laughs> huh. Okay, there we go. Right. Just a few more packs to open. Yes. All right, why is this? I don't know. I'm like, my little work area is not flowing very well. Hoopa. Okay. I got a hoopa. Let's get two more Gengar and then we're okay, done. I got to sneeze. Oh, no. Here. All right, what do you want to complain about now? Um, Prices of things. Because I'm really upset about prices. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> Wait, what? It's always his fault, don't you know? No, I did not know. You didn't? I, I remember that thing of, thanks, Obama, but I'm like, what? Dude, I've ran across people that, I've said that online a few times in, like, Facebook conversations. I'm like, thanks, Obama. And people literally, like, kind of jump in, like. Take offense? They to defend it? him. I'm like, dude, even Obama himself got in on the meme. Like, where he was trying to dip his cookies in the milk and it wouldn't fit. And he's like, thanks, Obama. Oh, I didn't know he did that. Yeah, so like he was even getting in on the thanks Obama meme. I'm like, how the how do you not know this? Like <laughs> what's the matter with you? People just I'm like, he was a president people. that actually like embraced some memes, you know? Yeah. That's pretty cool. I mean, yeah, I'm not not getting politics or anything, but I like people who can have fun. Yeah. Uh, nowadays it seems like everyone Everyone takes offense to everything. Yeah. What actually makes me sad, though, about, like, you know, Biden being president is the biggest thing I was excited for was the sad Biden memes coming back. Not the sad Biden, but, like, the lost and confused. You know, like, because when Obama was president, they'd always have, like, pictures of Biden just bumbling around not doing anything. Yeah. And uh, it was, like, kind of sad, kind of lost Biden. So I'm like, oh, my God, those have to come back. They haven't came back yet. Aw. I'm like, what? That's a prime opportunity. I don't think I've seen him wear aviators once. Wow. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> For real, Obama, thanks. Is that, is that how it goes? <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, I did it. Yeah. Ooh. Pretty much anything that doesn't work out the way you want it to, it's Obama's fault. Ah. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> <sighs> Everybody just needs to relax. Ooh, speaking of that, what's for dinner? Uh, I didn't get that far. I'm working. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Ooh, power table. Tablet. I said power table. <laughs> I'm... Reading's hard, okay? Chop suey, but it's nothing but a table. Table, 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 table. Yeah. Hey, there's a good old card. Is that yeah. the one that I just want? No, that's not. No, nah, nah, that's one. a sick meal. Yeah, the alt arts in this, I originally thought I was going to be sad by not getting so many alt arts. However, this set does pump out a lot of alt arts. A lot more than I thought they would. It's It pumps out a lot of destroyed cards as well. Oh my god, yes it does. Let's see. Oh, this one's not bad. It's got a little bit there, but... Yeah, this, oh, look at this that. isn't bad. But yeah, a lot of times there's just so much like damaged yeah. bulk. 
It's, it's, it's pretty, not good. Pretty sad. Not good. Mm -mm. I haven't seen any crazy errors yet either. Uh, we did. Hmm? We did see one. What do we see? Uh, where the card was like... A major off-centered, yeah. Almost like super off-cut. But not quite there. Not I quite. I mean, that to me is pretty... Yeah, there have been, I mean, I've seen some. I don't know. Pokemon can't get their act together, but they're definitely getting their print quality better, which makes me kind of sad in a way because I like all the errors. I have heard of people opening Battle Styles cards, though. That I haven't seen yet. Out of these? Yeah. Oh. I've heard of that a couple people actually having that happen to them. and Not us yet. I don't know if it was maybe out of the pre-release kits, I think. Perhaps. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know. I'd be super sad. Battle Styles is... <laughs> like, what? Nobody wants that. Yeah. Like, I thought we got past Whoa. the whole Ursapu thing. Yeah. Maybe we have, and it just wasn't ultra rares. I don't know. Oh, goodness. It is cold down here. Really? Yeah, you're not cold? No. <laughs> Maybe it's because I shaved my head, and I'll, uh, you know. Yeah. All the heat's gone. Probably. Chandelure. I got a crab. It could be. Finally stopped being lazy today. <laughs> Just kidding. Of you. <laughs> I'm always lazy. No, that's a big accomplishment for you, though. Yeah, got a haircut. Now I just need to get a real job. Yeah, but look I don't at you being an adult. Oh my god, babe, there's so many packs left. Make them go away. I'm trying. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Complain about all the first world problems. Oh no, we have to record an hour long YouTube video as part of our job. Oh, oh no. woe is me. Yeah, well, now you want dinner. I'm like, you get one or the other. I mean, I'll, I'll take some more cereal. Depends mm. what's left. Man, Hi. I'm so sad. So the box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch up there has like this much left in it, right? Mm -hmm. And I keep <laughs> grabbing the, the box every few days to see if it's a new box, and it's not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not enough to make it worth my time, you well, know? Well, you've been, you usually go for checks. And yeah. So I got a bunch of those. It, it all depends on my mood. If I just want to have a have bowl of sugar, then I eat Chex. Because you just put way too much sugar on it. But like Cinnamon Toast Crunch, nah. The thing is, so I demolished Cinnamon Toast Crunch for a few days in a row. And then there was Golden Grahams sitting there. And I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. But <laughs> I poured a giant bowl of Golden Grahams, sat down, bit into it. And I'm like, what? What is this crap? Oh, this is Golden Grahams. <laughs> this isn't Cinnamon <laughs> Toast Crunch. You forgot what cereal he was eating? <laughs> yeah, I literally <laughs> forgot what I was like in the mood for. And That's then fun. for the next few days, I ate a bunch of Golden Grams. They're just not the same as Cinnamon Toast Crunch, though. I'll Golden Grams. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. The problem with Golden Grams is some of the some of them are just little rocks. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is like airier, not softer, um, but you know what I mean. Yeah. See. A bit more airy. It's nice. Golden Grams get soggy like pretty quick, so I'm okay with that because I don't I don't like my gums to be chewed up from it. Yeah, but that's why uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch is the best. It's like the perfect mixture. It's not like Cookie Crisp I used to eat when I was a kid, and I don't know why. It just tastes like blood. Yeah. That's, I, it, it hurts your mouth. But it's so good. Yeah. Licario. It, but it does just taste like blood. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's I'm officially out <laughs> of things to talk about. <laughs> Welcome to our video. It Welcome to our like channel. Blood. Welcome to our channel. It does. And then it just feels like pain for the rest of the day. But yeah. you're just left wanting more. Some of these are hard to open. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, I should probably move this ball because it's getting kind of ridiculous. <sighs> I can't wait to get Tom into Shilton our new house. Oh. No, not Tom Shilton. <sighs> I hate that guy. Yeah, it's exciting. It still doesn't feel like we actually got a new house, though. Yeah, because we're s we've been here. <laughs> yeah, we've been stuck here for so long. <laughs> yeah, we're just like, all right, that's ours, and then it's like we don't get it until the house we're in now is so terrible. It literally it has is. two basement walls that need replaced. Yep. And I should have did it years ago when it was only twenty thousand dollar quote. Now it's a forty thousand dollar quote. Yeah, it's expensive. Just get the walls replaced, and then that messes up the entire basement. Oh, nice. Yeah, I it's, got that. Oh, my God. This place. Yeah. So we've given up pit. on it. So <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to let it fall over. Like an actual house. 
I'll sell it and get a whole twelve dollars on the market. Ooh, we can get pizza. Could yes, we. If that's what. Let's didn't you have pizza it. earlier? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I guess you can get it again. I was talking about with the twelve dollars. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm like, that's really what we want Ooh, for dinner, my love. We could probably get a pizza and crazy bread. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'll order Laconis if they're still open. Oh my uh, god, that's more expensive than twelve dollars. No, I'm saying for tonight, I want Laconis. Yeah, you should do it. I'd have to order it like right meow. Well, run away and order it right no, meow. Not, <laughs> we got this. All right. I'll blab to people. We'll add three more boxes onto what we're opening. Then we'll have one more segment to do. Yeah. And then we have to sort it and all that fun stuff. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> I'm just going to complain about all the first world problems. Oh, my God. My job is so hard. I have to open Pokemon cards in the comfort of my own home next to my own wife. Oh, my God. So terrible. The pain and agony. Oh, this is, this is so miserable. Pack felt a weird. Nap. Oh, a nap would be great. He's a little grumpy when he's tired. I'm not grumpy. Sure, you're just complaining. I am legit tired, though. Yeah. It's something where I'm like, I don't know if I should keep chugging coffee, because maybe I should just take a nap and then stay up all night, because I do want to reset my sleep schedule. Um, maybe I should just do that. After the video, just see what happens. There you go. Yeah, I mean, there is no total mayhem tonight, so what else am I going to do? Um, spend time with your family? Take a nap, yeah. I'll be around. <laughs> I'll just be unconscious. We'll just see you. See you there every time <laughs> yeah, we pass. I'm still there. I'm still <laughs> hanging out with you. I think it counts. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I also love that right now, North Carolina is live doing That's breaks nice. for us. The North Carolina wing. So it's just funny that our OBS is showing chat moving, yeah. but, but we can't talk. So hi, hi, Chris. A. I see you out there. I see you, Dink. Don't think you need to check if they're following. Oh, my God. Did Carlito actually won the giveaway? Yes. No way. Carlito <laughs> won the giveaway. <laughs> That's hilarious. Carlito, congrats, dude. Yeah. I'll check see if he's following anyway. Oh, yeah. That'd be a good idea. Wow. All right. Well, I guess they're about done with their... Uh, the breaks yeah. then. <laughs> wow. Good game, Carlito. Good game. Yeah. That's so funny. Anyways, um. GG's, Carlito. Yeah. Wonder who they're gonna raid. I don't know. Fire! Hey, we I pulled that earlier. Good job. Now I'm just paying attention to chat that <laughs> I can't actually talk to. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Is Carlito even there? We're I talking don't about know. other stuff right now. We're like, oh. I have no clue. Carlito is a uh, pain, pain in my in ass. <laughs> <laughs> what he said. That's Carlito. I love you, Carlito. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He definitely is. Hey, nice. But you know, just wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah. Wait, they're checking followers of somebody else. I have no idea now. Yeah, I don't. I, I have don't IDK. Know. Oh, this pack is like melted. Uh oh. Oh, and it wasn't anything special. It was just a melted pack. Boo. Man, give me something cool. Give me a cool error. It's been a while since I've pulled like an amazing error out of a pack. Think of how many packs we open. I mean, we're like 9,000 packs into this. Give me something cool. I'll probably be in the next wave. Maybe. Who knows? Depends how quick they try to rush it all out the door. They did do a huge reprint lately, so I'm kind of surprised that it wasn't rushed out the door. Yeah. I feel like we're making good time in the thousand packs. Yeah, we are. We used to be able to kill it off in, like, what, an hour and... About an hour. A little over an hour. Yeah. Well, I think the first part was, like, 25 minutes. Well, yeah, we kept pulling boxes. Yeah, we can do the same thing again. Then we have uh, nine more to open when uh, we go to part three. Yes. That's how I'm not a slacker. Instead of recording my one-hour video in four sections, we're doing it in three. I yeah. feel accomplished. Look at us go. Oh, I still forgot to look up. Okay, oh, no, I didn't look. Oh, I forget. Okay. <clears throat> Take two. 
I forgot to watch. I did look up the Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City trailer because yeah. people were talking about it. But it's got like an 80% thumbs up, and it's like, oh, no. Oh, no. What's wrong with it? I mean, 80 like, decent, but on YouTube, that usually means you done, you done messed up. Oh, no. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. As I punch the microphone. Nice. R.E.P. headphone users. All right. Let's do this. I really want to know who won the giveaway. Actually, can I turn on the... No, wait. Did they open a new one already? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. You can go into it and see. Uh, I'll just go to stream elements and look real quick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, giveaways. All right. Or not. You know, I'm not even going to try. I mean, whatever. Right now, I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> I'm like, we're not, you know. Whatevs. Oh, no. The raid went off. Now I can't watch chat. Mer. Oh, no, we we get to watch somebody else's chat. Nothing's moving. Do they raid someone that's on, like, subscriber only? <laughs> somebody said, OMG. Nobody's talking. So I wonder if... Ah, whatever. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Normally people spam during a raid. There's been... Yeah. Might be. Might be follower only. I got a chunky <gasps> That thing is squirrel. amazing. Oh, it's so amazing. Yeah, we haven't pulled. I don't think we pulled. Okay, so the golden flappy is like amazing. And then, oh, the altar <laughs> squirrel is so beautiful. Yeah, I say that's so patchy. So beautiful. And patchy's babies. So cute. Yep. Puppy. Doggos. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I regret adding three more boxes to this one. Oh, is our job never done? You <sighs> are ridiculous. Oh, look at how many packs are in front of us. We got this. I need to hurry up and go sit down and do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he is ridiculous. Oh, I've been working for like two hours today. I can't take this any longer. Oh my gosh. You big baby. I'm going to form a union. A union. <laughs> just want to be like, a big baby. Uh, it's my union day off. You can't tell me no. <laughs> you, you'd probably try and use that every day. I will strike. <laughs> I'll, I'll stand in the background and I'll th do my picket line while you guys are streaming. <laughs> Must strike. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're ridiculous. I'll do it. Why are you so ridiculous? That's just me. You know. You know. You know what this was. Right, man, you know you know the thing. <laughs> <sighs> All right, for real, maybe. Okay, wait, but here's the thing. If I try to take a nap, then I can't order Laconis. Right? Crap. So do you want food? Okay, when we when we go upstairs and I, I render out this part of the video, mm -hmm. maybe I'll place an order, then it'll show up by about the time we're Ooh. done. Well, I don't know. We have to sort all of this out and record the other part. Maybe then I can eat and become sleepy. Oh. I just punched my microphone again. Maybe we should... Uh, maybe that's the plan. Eat, become sleepy, take a nap, wake up whenever I wake up, and then, uh, then there you go. Reset sleep schedule. I am going to wrap Christmas presents because I am basically done Christmas shopping. Well, good. Um, yep. Yeah. Anybody else out there uh, already get Christmas basically done? Apparently I did because you bought it all, so yeah. <laughs> I didn't have to do anything. No, you didn't. That is the best kind of doing stuff. I do need to get the pups a couple things because they do yeah. love opening. Yeah, Gina Bear does love opening presents. She's so oh, cute poopers. with it. Poopers. Poopers is like, I am going to open this. This is mine. We can't put Christmas presents under the tree until the morning of. Oh, yeah. Our bass hound, like, won't even really open them. She'll just take them and hang out with them. Well, she tries to open them. She's so cute. She's so, like, gentle with everything she does. No, she's not. Yeah, she is. 
Don't trash talk my Lying dog. At, it's not even your dog. Yeah, she does like her better. <laughs> Which is dumb. I try to cuddle with her all the time. Uh, so we got the basset for him because he wanted a basset. And now it. she's just my dog. And I'm like, leave me alone. Go to your dad. Basset hounds are the best dogs ever to snuggle with. They're like little radiators. They sleep she like on their back. So they're like nice and cuddly. You can just kind of put your arm around them. And she, no. Mm -mm. No, she's like, I want mommy. Yep. And it's like, no, you're his. Go get away from me. She won't do it. Nope. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> I love you. I love you. You're such. I'm what? I'm what? It wasn't family friendly. Uh, okay. Yeah, don't make me edit anything out. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I haven't opened many uh, cards. I don't even know. Yeah, I'm just kind of I'm coasting here. I don't. I, I think I did hit the Mew this go around. Pretty sure. I hit a Mew. I think. I don't know. Things are starting to run together. <laughs> That's my life. I got that Mew. That was it. Well, hey, I we'll see how we did at the end. It's collectively one just giant opening. That's all it is. Yeah. Chandelier. I just call it a chandelier. Keep punching the microphone. <laughs> RIP everyone's headphone users ears. Yeah, I always. That was a weird way of saying it. You're welcome. I try to like position the microphone before I start recording, but then I always grab it and move it, and I keep forgetting it sounds atrocious when I do that. <laughs> Very, very bad. Well, I switched it out, so it's a new boom arm. Yeah, but still, it's like this. It comes across quite loud, is what I'm trying to say. Ah. Uh, yeah. Lack of pulling cards. Oh, we're not near the end. We got nine boxes left to open. Oh, my God. My life. Hey, see you on the next nine boxes. Okay, the last nine. Let's go. I know there's no point in even talking about how we have cuts in the video because to you, get, uh, to all of you, it's just instant. But to us, it's not. It's just weird. Pre-recorded videos are weird. Yeah, they are. Oh, come on. It's not the reality you think it is. And like, it's we could have been gone for five seconds. Or five hours. I'm actually fighting with Adobe Premiere Pro because for some reason it keeps trying to export the video at like 720 by 480. I'm like, no, I didn't change any settings. What are you doing? And then I change it to export properly. And then I need like this weird codex. I'm like, no, I don't need that. So I download the codex. I'm like, I don't know. Maybe they had like an update. And then now I can see the video and I'm like, oh, that looks fine. Let me drag it back into Premiere Pro to see what's up. And then Premiere Pro's like, we can't read that. I'm like, oh, my God. So now I'm trying to render it again. <laughs> so oh my God. <laughs> First world problems. It. I literally have opened nothing yet. I'm trying. You're doing great, baby. Yeah, yeah I'm going to keep complaining about Pro. I don't understand what's up with that. I'm like, I haven't changed Adobe Premiere Pro, like, ever. All the settings are what they need to be. Holy crap. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is nine packs in a row. I've hit nothing. There we go. That's Serena to save the day. Uh, you go right there. Yeah, kind of worries me. Maybe we should. No, we couldn't have recorded this video all at once because we still have to do the. Uh, the hey, financial this is. Wrap up. I ain't going to do the financial wrap up. I'm going to do the here's what we got wrap up. Ew. Yeah, I don't I think there's like any point it. doing the financial wrap up in a thousand packs, honestly. I don't think so. Well, it's even weirder with codes right now because codes are uh, with the new app thing. I don't know. Yeah, I have no clue. Yeah, it's really awkward. We'll just go over all the cool stuff we got. We'll try it. Maybe people will hate it, and then next time we'll do it. I don't know. I I DK. Well, you're gonna get people that like it and people that hate it and people. That just want to hear you ramble and they don't care. Yeah, I mean, that's true. That is that is fair. Can't please everyone. 
Oh my god, you have more packs hiding over there. Oh, I thought we were almost done. No, <laughs> you have two boxes. I, I know, I got boxes sitting over here next to me. <laughs> I am starting to get a pack opening elbow now, though, where it's like starting to obliterate mm -hmm. my elbow a bit. It's starting yeah. to hurt and stuff. That's why you should wear a long sleeve. Or we could put bubble wrap on the table for Ooh, you. Ooh, that'd be nice. Ooh, yeah. I got you. You know what we'll get? We'll get a pull noodle. Ooh, schoolgirl. Pull noodle? Yeah, and just put it up against this, and it'll stay. You just put a slit in it. Then you hear, like, squeaking or something the entire time. Nah. Or whatever. What noise would a pull noodle make against a wooden table? Probably a pretty cool noise for a little while. I don't think, I don't think it'll really do much. I'll duct tape it down. It'll be fine. No, right, duct tape. That okay, feels nice on the skin. No, it would just be other. It wouldn't be on you. You wouldn't feel it. Mm, but duct tape feels nice on the skin. Let me live my dream, Mom. All right. Hey, that's the third one, I think. Dude, yep. that is showing up a lot right now. Nice. Chandelier. Heck yeah. Hex yeah. Maybe I'll just price the alt arts just for giggles. Because to be fair, that's what everyone's chasing. All star alt arts? Well, I guess there's the Mew as well. Yeah. Mew and alt arts. There you go. Perf. That's done. Done. <laughs> but if I'm going to do that, <laughs> I'm going to just do it all. The struggle is real with you today. Yeah. Ah, screw it. No pricing. No pricing. No pricing for you. Yeah. That's going to upset a lot of people. I don't know why I'm struggling with this. I don't know why I can't decide. I could just do it and not worry about it. Yeah. Or I could just not. Yeah. You have <laughs> options. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Boom, boom. I'm gonna How take did back you used here. to say it? But -a -boom, boom, boom, boom. Uh, ah, Selby. I don't remember, my love. That was so long ago. Probably like a week or two. Maybe longer, actually. <laughs> oh, what memory loss happens in a week. Well, I am old. I remember the 1980s. You weren't even born then. I was born in the 1980s. I thought you were born in 1998. No. 97? No. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, what's 21 years ago? You were born in double ot. <laughs> yeah. Yep. All right. Yep. You're a double ot girl. I'm a double ot baby. Yeah. Yippers. That's the last year of the millennia. What would that make me then? 21. A Gen Z. Oh, you'd be... I don't know. I don't know when the uh, generations actually are when it goes from like millennial to because millennial goes all the way back into the early 80s, I believe. So um. I can't imagine it being at 20 years, can it? Or yeah, millennial. I don't think so. I think it's Gen Z. I don't know. I don't I pay know. attention to that. But then again, if you're born in double lot, you're born in the last year of the millennia. Which I remember. I am old. Back in, like, you know, 1999, they're like, it's, you know, new century, decade, millennia, whatever, next year. And I'm like, no, it's not. Count to 10. Do you start at zero or do you start at one? Our calendar starts at one, not zero. Yeah. So, technically, like, you know, when it becomes the year 2030, you are, like, in the decade of the 30s, but you're not in the next decade yet. Until 31. Oopa. Does that make sense? Yep. So yeah, I'm like, wait, our calendar starts at year one, not year zero. If we, if we start at year zero, that means that the first decade only had nine years in it. The first millennial only had, you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, I remember that, and it's like, what? Because even the teachers are talking about it. I'm like, I, I'm confused. How does this work? Oh, do you remember Y2K? 
I do remember Y2K. I, I also wasn't even born then, so. Yeah. Well, what's funny about Y2K is uh, people were still freaking out about it, even though years before it, they're like, no, we, we know we know what's up. Like, you know what I mean? They're like, no, it's going to be fine. It, everything was fixed. But people were still like, oh, my God, it's going to go. Because I remember a lot of people were watching, like, See? Russia go into the next year, being like, what's going to happen? So it's just weird. It's like a big divide of people. It's like, how did you not know that everything's going to be okay? <laughs> they fixed They fixed the problem. They saw this problem coming <laughs> a they very long it. time ago. Lol. And they updated everything and fixed it. But I'm not going to lie. There was still some sort of excitement, though. Of like, <gasps> maybe someone in, in the government's using an old computer. Very ancient. I mean, because I think all the computers running, like, our nuclear missiles were made in, like, the 60s or something. Oh, wow. Yeah, legit. I don't think they're, like, new. They're all, like, super old... I don't understand, but yeah, but still. Because the government is always, what, like 50 years behind in technology, it seems? Yes. Like, for real. I mean, the, on the whole pandemic, they're finally like, you can do telehealth where you can talk to your doctor over the phone. It's like, why couldn't we have done that since the start? Phones have been around for an incredibly long time. What's wrong with having a doctor's appointment over the phone? Right. Because there's even things like when I have, like, an abscess tooth, right? I have a bunch of it. And, like... The dentist I'd call, and he's like, yeah, I'm supposed to see you, but whatever. You know what I mean? But a doctor, like, nope, we have to see you. I'm like, but you've been seeing me my entire life, and you know the issues I have, and I'm having, like, a flare-up of an issue, so can you help? And they're like, well, you got to schedule for an appointment. You go yeah. in three weeks later, you sit down, they're like, well, here's your prescription. Have fun. I'm like, what is the point of this? Why did I suffer Thanks. for three additional weeks? Because I had to see you face-to-face. -face. Right. Yeah, that's annoying. Yeah, so the pandemic finally forced the government to accept it. Ooh. Oh, nice. Because, you know, they make the rules for all that. But, I mean, they're all 90 years old anyways. Well, they're like, like, they still have home phones. The mic. They're Sorry, probably everyone. confused on why they don't see, like, telephone booths when they go to work. Yeah. What's up, baby? Sorry. Oh, telephone booths. I remember those. Dude, if you want to know how out of touch the people who run your lives are, watch any of the Senate hearings where they talk to, like, Microsoft and Google and Apple. Yeah. They're, they they're don't understand it at all. No, like one of them had to explain how the internet works to them. <laughs> and like, I love that. Uh, were they talking to Microsoft about an Apple issue? And they're like, we're not Apple. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what? So, yeah, those are the people making the rules for technology. Yeah, people that are old fashioned and don't understand. Well, dude, like up until 1997, I know 97 is a while ago, but the internet had been out for several years by that time. And it was publicly accessible uh -huh. and most people were on the internet by 1997. Almost everything was legal to do on the internet. And I'm talking about things that will put you into prison for like life right now. Yeah. Was legal to do on the internet because they just hadn't, <laughs> they hadn't figured out, oh wait, there's bad things that happen on here. That was like the true wild, wild. That was like the kind of the wild, wild west, you know? Well, it's like, look at anybody's parents. Once they get to a certain age, they just fall behind with technology and everything oh, else. Dude, of course. I mean, it's like with the kid or whatever and all of her technology. I'm like, I still don't even really know what like, I mean, I know what Venmo is and all this stuff, but yeah, I don't keep up with it anymore. There's a thing called Wink, the Wink app. And I was like, you're not allowed on that. But the thing is, is I don't keep up with it. However, it's not my job to keep up with it. Right. If you're making the rules for it, then it is your job to keep your finger on the pulse and to understand. And if you don't understand what's going on, then it's your job to step down and pass it on to somebody who does know what's going yeah. on. Training court. Like, I think it's kind of funny that, yeah, I'm, I'm on an anti-government rant here. Um... It's kind of funny that people from, like, you know, the FDA and all of that, you ever notice that whenever they uh, leave the FDA, they go and they work for, like, giant phar pharmaceutical companies? No, like, I don't pay attention to all that. They always do that. I mean, there's a lot of money to be made. But it's just kind of funny that, like, the government doesn't try to incentivize anyone who works in tech to, like, you know, come help them. <laughs> A boom boom. Ah, whatever. Anyways. Yeah. I don't even yeah. know how I got on this. Uh, I don't know. Oh my god, you still have packs over there. Yep. Sure do. Mm. Did you want some? Nope. <laughs> There's some packs right there. I'll grab more packs. 
I mean, yeah, I guess clean this up a wee little bit, huh? Just a little bit. <laughs> I was like, what's that? I've been collecting packs on my lap. <laughs> And there we go. Yep. The last stretch. Oh my god, there's so many packs though. <laughs> yeah, well. You're so ridiculous today. What I don't actually know, I need to look into. So I remember when we started doing YouTube back in 2013, right? Yeah. Um, there was no category at all to pay taxes, I believe. Mm -hmm. And then the government was trying to figure out, well, what is a YouTuber classified as? And I think it was 2016, I can't remember, um, I had to file under singer-songwriter. <laughs> no joke, for years, when I filed my taxes, we had to file it under a singer-slash-songwriter for tax purposes. The, also, to go down that rabbit hole even more, my buddy Marky Dragon has been on like the cutting edge of real money transaction in video games. Like He was there literally in the mid-90s doing it, and that's how he's made his living. Chandelier. Ever since. Hats off to you, man. That's insane. Well, him and like his circle of friends, because you know, you meet people in the industry, um, when they started making serious money, and I mean a crap ton of money over it, when they went to pay their taxes, there's actually a documentary about this too, about him and their circle of friends. Things called play money. But when they went to pay their taxes, they couldn't pay their taxes. Because there was no category that exists for making money online especially oh. in video games. Yeah. So, no joke, what the IRS told them was they can pay $10,000 to have the IRS investigate it and then create a tax category for them they can pay their taxes. And that $10,000 was not refundable. So, what? no joke, they faced getting in trouble for tax evasion if they didn't pay their taxes when the IRS had no tax code where they could actually file their taxes. So they were unable to file, but they faced tax evasion if they didn't file. So they had to cough up $10,000 and give it to the IRS wow. so the IRS could figure out how to tax them. I'm so tired of... Ooh, nice. Like, isn't that insane? Yeah. I'm so tired of... It's just take, take, take. Like, you work so hard and you just get everything taken. I know, but I'm like, dude, you're the IRS. The internet's been out for years. How do you not know how to tax transactions online yet? Yeah. Like, what is the matter with you? That's ridiculous. And then they're like, well, pay us $10,000 extra on top of your taxes for us to actually figure out how to take your money, or you're going to commit it like a felon. And they're like, what? But yeah, there's a documentary called Play Money about it. It's awesome, actually. But my buddy's in there, Marky Dragon. He doesn't watch our stuff. He does our streams, but entrepreneur he's actually the person that got me so my brother owns companies my dad owned a company you know they've owned businesses they've done their stuff i'm uh, nowhere near the realm they're my brother's like real estate you know candy stores blah 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 yeah. my mom flips houses my dad owned a heating ventilating air conditioning company but marky dragon is the one that convinced me to do not exactly what i'm doing but in this realm in games and uh, he used to—he has a video series like "Want to Be an Entrepreneur" or something. They're dated now because they're made like ten years ago. And he's someone who—he's someone who's older, and he's got his finger kind of on the pulse of technology. He was like one of the first uh, people to get on YouTube. You know, he was making money on video games long before it even was across anyone's mind. But he, during that series, he talked about um, if you're not making money while you're sleeping. You're doing it wrong. Yeah. You know, and like that stuck with me because he's like, if you have, to, if you only make money when you're awake working nine to five, you're doing something wrong. If you own a business that closes at night and you're not making money, you're doing something wrong. You need to be making money while you're sleeping. And that is kind of, that's what pushed me from, because I owned a physical card store and we didn't make any money when we were closed. And, yeah, you could do some online sales by, like, a website or whatever, but you had to constantly push it and it, it babysit it, maintain it, and, like, it wasn't automatically, you know, making you money while you were sleeping. Plus, on top of that, you had to ship everything that came in. Right. So you didn't make the money until you showed up the next day, you know, and that's where, like, YouTube came from. Where it's like, well, they pay you to make YouTube videos. If I can do something to be kind of popular on YouTube, then I can make money while I'm asleep. 
And yeah. to this day, eight years later, even some of my old videos still get views. So literally while I'm sleeping, videos eight years ago are still, I mean, granted, okay. it's pennies now. Yeah. But it's something where for eight years, every night that I go to bed, someone would click on that video. You might get a fraction of a penny, but that's paying me while I sleep. So, like, he's the one that kind of drove me to where I am now. So when everyone else owned card stores and they're all physical, even though it was the year 2013, well into the Internet age, hardly any of them took advantage of social media. You know, they had websites and yada, 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 maybe yeah. some Facebook things, but... None of them I knew were on YouTube doing it anywhere near successfully. Like, none of them at all. And that, that's where I got lucky. And I kind of, I was not first, but one of the first. And I don't even know a card, I mean, is there a card store that has technically a larger YouTube channel than half a million? I don't know. That was a card store from the beginning. I have no idea. Long story short, Marky Dragon, his he's wise beyond my understanding and comprehension so yeah anyways he's he's the reason i'm here doing this it, it was just that line and it resonated with me it just you have to make money while you sleep yeah yeah you've talked about that several times before yeah it's it, it's like profound i know it's it's so it's simple to understand you know make money passively that's what people do in the stock market, you know? Yeah. But even at that, when you're sleeping, the stock market's closed. Right. <laughs> you know? So you're still not really making money, but yeah. But that was, yeah, I don't know. Well, regardless. Nice. His name's Marky Dragon. He does a lot of, like, EVE Online and stuff like that now. But if you do go to his YouTube channel, you can find his, like, Wanna Be an Entrepreneur series. It is old and dated, and I want to push him to, like, update that. But he's, like, he's good. He can, okay, he can basically explain complex situations in a very dumbed down, easy to understand manner. There you go. That's that's one of his gifts. That's awesome. Anyways, all right. Yeah. I don't know how I am over here on this <laughs> topic. I don't know where what ended up. <laughs> but anyways. I know you're not gonna see this, Marky, but I owe you, man. I owe you. For sure. He also understands that I'm very flaky. Because we'll talk about doing some business together time to time, but he knows that like I just get distracted, yeah, and I just go and do something Squirrel. else. Yeah, but he's never really gotten he's never gotten upset with me about that. He just understands. He's like, hey, if you want to be part of this project, you can, and I'll work with him a bit, and then I'll get distracted with something, and he's just cool with it. Yeah. Well, you are busy and pulled everywhere. Yeah, and I think he understands that as another <laughs> entrepreneur. You know, you're always out there looking for the next angle. You're always looking for a side hustle, you know? Yeah. And that's exactly what he does. He has, I've watched him bring so many like businesses online that just epically failed, but without it, just stands up, dusts it off and does another one. And I've seen him knock it out of the park with like four of them, you know? And that's enough where he makes a living out of his house, supports him, his wife, his lifestyle and Moral of the story, that's kind of part of business. Sometimes you're going to have to fail multiple times, but that one time you make it will more than pay for all the failures. You just got to calculate that, you know? If you do decide to go into business, which I suggest most people do. We live in the internet era. It is so easy. You can sell things on Etsy's, which is an S&P 500 company now. There are so many ways to, to, to make, I don't want to say like a living, but supplemental income. Make yeah, some side money. Just plan on it failing so you don't overinvest and hurt yourself, you know? Yeah. Like, it's really, because you're supposed to be saving a certain percentage of your income to invest in the market or whatever, or just invest. Part of it can be side hustles. Keep, I mean, the amount of people that make money on Facebook, and I mean like hundreds of thousands of dollars by whatever a meme comes out they make a t-shirt of it and they just advertise it better than anybody else Ooh. is mind-blowing and these people are drop shipping these t-shirts all they're doing is like oh let's go brandon's a meme bam here's a million different shirts yeah you just push it out there and then all of a sudden you just rake in like money hand over fist there's a lot of people that do that now but think about the one of the first few people who did that you know or if you're better doing SEO than anybody else, you can still get ahead and do it. 
Whatever, we're at the end of the video now, so I'm going to shut up. But let's uh, do a wrap-up. Maybe, maybe not financial. What I need to do is a profit or loss after, like, I need to do a thousand packs after like two or three weeks and then see what the uh, profit or loss is because then it gives the set time to settle down. I keep touching the microphone when I shouldn't do that. Let's see what we got here. For Pikachu, only four. How do we only get four Pikachu out of 28 boxes? That is crazy. Apples. One, two, three, four, five, six of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Like some of these are incredibly low for I mean, we're talking twenty-eight booster boxes. And one, two, three, four, five. This is crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six of those. Um not, I don't know. I'm not prepared for that. Yeah, come on. Come on, all of you. I never know a good way of actually doing this. Alright, let's keep going through the uh, the other stuff before we get to the Tasty jam, so to speak. One, two, three of the these full arts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see, Serena. One, two, three. And one, two, three, four, five, six. The boom boom. That's a lot of Vmax of boom booms. One, two, three, four, five, six. Vmax. One, two, three, four, five, six. Only seven Vs. That's kind of weird. Hey, we finally have a rainbow rare. One of the Chandelure. And then, such weird, like, no, all right, one full art. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the VMAX. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine of the regular Vs. I guess I'll uh, gather that. Yeah, the numbers are kind of off. I mean, the Pikachu, I'm kind of glad there's not many because we just opened a crap ton of celebration and, well, kind of tired of seeing that card show up. But we got a Rainbow Red Doggo. And then two, four, five, six of the VMAX, one full art, and four regular. And then hoopa. I can never say how wipey says it. Bam, four. There you go. Done. Mew VMAX, four, two. We'll get to the alternate arts here in a second. Two, four, five of the regular. The Gengar VMAX, one of the regular. Two, <laughs> four regulars. This is uh, it's just weird. I don't know. It feels very low on some of the stuff. Four, and then three, four, five, six, seven. The Intellions. Genesect, two with a full art. Three, six. Oh my god, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven. The regular Vs. Ah, oh, and then we have like one of the best Pokemon ever. A fat squirrel coming up. Let me gather all of this up somehow. Hi, kitty. Please don't jump up here, kitty. I love you, kitty. I love you, kitty. All right, we got the Rainbow Rare, two VMAXs, and two, four, six of the Fat Squirrels. Cinderace, uh, two, four, five of the VMAX, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, on to the good stuff. On to the good stuff. It's actually more than a thousand packs. What is it, 1,008 packs, I think, out of 28 boxes? I can't remember. The only Secret Rare Energy... Got two there. Three of the training court, one power tablet. That's that's it for our uh, secret rares. One Shauna Rainbow Rare, playset regular. Two Sydney Rainbow Rares, three regular. Two dancers, and oh, I thought we had a lot more of these. Nope, three regular, two of the Rainbow Rare, two schoolgirl, and then one of that. It's kind of funny when you're like, hey, I got two of the Rainbow Rare, three regular, two Rainbow Rare, three regular. I don't know. I don't know why. These, the, these ratios just feel very off to me. Oh, come on. Get, nope. No, come on. You're the good stuff. I don't want to hurt you. And then the alt arts. Oof. One. We got so lucky here with the three Gengars, in my opinion. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. No fat squirrels. So twelve. I was expecting fourteen or more. It does feel like we're getting an alt art every other box when we're cracking them on stream. A lot of boxes had two alt arts. Some had three. Uh, some cases had like seven alt arts in them. It's so we one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of them. Yeah, we needed 14 to have every other box with an alt art. So I don't even know what that actually breaks down to missing the two. Um, I guess I could do it. By the way, real quick. 
we had, was it 212? We got the calculator pulled up. Total hits, ultra rares. That is 7.57 ultra rares per box. Slightly under eight. It's That seemed to be about the average. It's about seven and a half. We, we have sank below the eight mark now. And again, some boxes this have like, too many boxes have five hits. But there's a lot of boxes that have 11 and 12. Kind of weird. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I don't know if I can just do this math on the... Uh, uh, that is... Yeah, no, that's not that good. Man, I think we just got unlucky with that. It's about every other box. I don't know. I want to do another 1,000 packs of this here in like two weeks. No joke. Because then we should do a financial... That's when we should do financials on it because when it sets new, it's always just worth way too much. Like way too much. Uh, like the, the Rainbow Rare Mew was going for like 300 there for a minute. And no break dinks in Gengar either. This one just felt kind of weird, so I kind of want to do more to see how it... E Maybe we'll do another one in here in a couple weeks. If you don't like the fact of... Oh, so the financial wrap-up right now, it's weird because I don't know how our codes are selling given the new Pokemon Online client. It's very... Weird. Everything's weird. And then again, I'm an idiot. It's hard for me to understand things. Hey, maybe we'll come back in two weeks, do a proper financial video, and then compare the two. See what we did. Because this feels low. Feels low.